Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover element and uh, pick methods of uh, Q. Uh, to explain this, uh, I have created this sample program. First, I will run this program, uh, then I will explain. Uh, this is output of uh, this sample program. Uh, inside main method, I am creating Q. And uh, in Q, I have added uh, four integer objects. Then I am displaying the Q content. You can see the Q output here. 200, 300, 400 and 500 and then I am calling uh, element method of uh, Q. Uh, what this element method will do is uh, it will retrieve first element from the Q and it won't remove the element. Okay. Uh, it just retrieve first element from the Q. Uh, so if you see the Q, the first element is 200. So the element uh, 200 has been uh, retrieved. Okay. And I am displaying the Q content again. And if you see the queue, uh, it is uh, same as the previous queue content. Because uh, element method, uh, it will just retrieve element from the queue. It won't remove element from the queue. Okay, so the queue content is uh, same as uh, previous queue content. And uh, then I am calling uh, peak method of queue. Uh, peak method will uh, retrieve first element from the queue. Uh, it won't remove element from the queue. Okay. So, if you see the first element of the queue is 200, so the peak method returns uh, 200 and then I am displaying the content of queue, it is same as the uh, previous queue content. Uh, because uh, peak method won't remove element from the queue, okay. And the difference between uh, element method and peak method is, uh, in case of uh, element method, uh, if queue is empty, then uh, element method will uh, throw an exception. Uh, but in case of uh, peak, uh, if uh, Q is empty, then uh, the peak method will return null. Okay. And uh, this is about uh, element and peak methods of uh, Q. And thanks for watching. Bye.